All right, I'm gonna give this one more good old-fashioned try. How is it going, everyone? Darby here, and welcome back to another ranked duel video. Um, this is my fourth attempt at trying to record this. I've put so much work, like hours, into work in this, and it just keeps corrupting. Which makes me think that my editing software is sadly not able to do videos like this yet. So, um, I'll work with what I can do. And we'll figure it out. We're going to be talking about the 10.3 season of Hope Patch, which comes out in a few days. And it focuses on making healing characters like Afro and Yamocha have less healing but more utility in their base kits. By doing things like just nerfing the healing numbers on Afro's Lovebirds but making it apply a tick CDR for each ability that she has. And little stuff like that. It's pretty cool actually. And I'm not going to go through every little change, but I'm going to go through the big ones, some of the cooler skins, and the new items that are going to be released. Starting with the new Duality Battle Pass, which will cost 800 gems, and it will give you AMC, Nox, and Zeus skins, including a recolor for each. And on the fruity side, you will be getting a King Arthur skin, which they all look pretty good. A lot of the skins in this update look pretty good. Um, and they're messing with the HUD and the UI a lot, adding in a Fire Giant and Gold Fury tracking on the scoreboard, a kill feed, and a HUD editor to the console, which I'm very excited. PC's already had a HUD editor for a long time, but console is finally having them, and that's cool. They're nerfing all of the camps and harbies, uh, nerfing the damage they do, and sometimes the amount of creatures that spawn in them. Which I think includes red buff in Conquest, and I really hope so, because I hate dying to that buff when I'm playing Yu Huang. Okay, onto the god changes. I am going through this fast, because this is my fourth time recording this, and I'm not sure if it's going to corrupt again. So I'm just hoping it doesn't. So they're changing Afro, and her kiss will now do damage, which is actually really cool. And when linking to somebody, it will share 50% of her MP5 and 20% of her protections now. And her love her lovebirds will heal less, but each tick reduces her cooldowns by a fourth of a second. And I think it goes on for four or five seconds. So that's like a second, and, or up to a second and a fourth a second off of every cooldown and every time she uses her lovebirds. I don't know if it counts towards lovebirds, I'm doubting it, but it might. Raw's heal now heals less, but provides more protections and power, and his alt damage scaling was nerfed by 15%, but it now deals 5% of true damage, equal to the enemy's max health. AMC's basic attacks now deal a tiny bit more damage, and they removed the passive healing his hives give, but now give him increased HP 5 up to 40 at level 5. Now this is one of the biggest ones. They nerfed Anubis's passive, which was just more life steal turning into damage, and now he can he can now walk while casting his one. And if you didn't know his one was that stationary ability, and he can now walk while casting it. And it does half of the damage, but the damage twice as fast. Which means he's gonna be marching you down like a machine gun. And I'm so excited to see it. They nerfed Bastet's passive life steal, but increased the damage off her jump. It's very tiny, but as you know, I love Bastet, so I thought I should talk about that. Um, if I'm able to put all the pictures on the screen, here's all the new skins that are coming. I'm mainly excited for the Morgan, Afro, and Anubis skin. On to the new items. They're adding a couple ones, and the first one is called Rejuvenating Heart. And it's a new item, and it's passive reads. Successfully hitting enemy gods with basic attacks and abilities provides a stack of 6% healing doubt that is consumed by the next ability used, up to 8 stacks. It's worded incredibly weirdly. It's so hard to like understand what's going on, in my opinion. And I think it means that when you land autos or abilities, you get 6% up to 8 stacks, and your next damaging ability will consume the stacks and heal you for 6%. I think that's what that means. I'm not entirely sure. We'll find out. Last Gasp is a new item that when you heal an ally with an ability, you gain 10 power for each of their 10% of their HP that is missing. Vital Amplifier is a new item that when you heal yourself or an ally with an ability, you gain 10% attack speed and 5% basic attack damage. 
I think that is gonna be like so much fun to use on Fafnir. Like Dragon Form Fafnir, imagine that. Sekhmet Scepter. I think that's like Baron's staff. It's passive reads, after healing yourself or an allied god with an ability, for the next 6 seconds, each time you damage an enemy god, your non-ultimate ability's cooldowns are reduced by half a second. That's pretty cool. I wish it was also on proccing ultimates, but I think that would probably be pretty overpowered. And finally, Erosion is an anti-shield item that makes shields people generate around you weaker. This could be hella cool into gods like Hera and Nem. Just like blanket flat statement. All of the lifesteal items like Devos and Bloodforge now heal less, but they all have more base damage and power. And they finally nerfed Polly, but it was only its lifesteal, not its actual damage. And then the final two smaller changes are Transcendence is now at 100 gold cheaper. And Griffin Wing also gives 15 more power. That wasn't all of the changes. That was all the bigger changes that you'll pro probably pay attention to. And I'll link the patch notes in the description so you're free to check them out. Um, and thanks for stopping in. And if you're looking for more smart Smite content to watch, I post literally every single day and stream nightly over on Twitch. And I'd appreciate your support by subscribing. That'd make me very happy. And nonetheless, I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Peace. I need to calm down. I feel like I've beat Poseidon's literally every single game I'm on Bastet. I don't know what I'm doing this game. I guess it's not a Darby video without dropping first blood. And that's just the fact of the matter. That could have been bad. You little piece of shit. I think I could kill him here. I don't think I ever get the buff, but I think I can definitely kill him. Heal and go. And he's the one scared now. Woo! I could have tried to auto him to die, but I didn't know how low the archers were. Imagine if the cat would have killed him. He gets red buff, but that's okay. He has better clear. Okay, we're focusing up. It's not a Darby video without throwing first blood and second blood. And basically just inting the entire early game. So, we got that out of the way, and now we're ready to frag, and we're going to frag this poor Poseidon. I'm currently like 2400 MMR, I think. I feel like this season, you have to be such higher MMR to um, hit Masters. I was Masters 2200 MMR last season. I'm excited for the new season, the new skins, the new updates. Oh my god, my healing is nuts. That was a horrible ult. Dude, that was a fucking eagle. That was a whole eagle. I don't want to just give him this uh, blue buff for free. But obviously I'm not going to be able to out-secure him. Or he got it before I even got there. I don't think his ult should be back up. We did like no damage compared to him though. We are 1.1k behind because we threw the early game so hard. That's fine. We need one kill. We get one kill and we're in the game. And we'll be gaming. If you do find yourself enjoying this video though, uh, make sure to subscribe. It'd make me very happy. I had 500 subs. We will be get, uh, doing a little series where we get any god of your choice to diamond. Could be Ganesh, could be Erlong Shen, whoever you want to see. We'll make a little poll and you guys can all vote. I had a 26 kill dodgy game in Conquest ranked the other day and I'm thinking about making that a video. I think I want to post Conquest like once a week. Because the only series we really have going on is the A to Z series, right? So we could have like a little Conquest. Damn, he's good with those ones, I won't lie. We could have a little Conquest series going on. Is he alting the wave? Like, I'm no, he's not. He just has really bad ultimates. And I died to them twice. That's fine. I'm not worried in the slightest, and you shouldn't be either.
He's still... No, he's only a thousand gold up now. Right side. I feel like more often than not, I beat Poseidons on whoever I'm playing. But I guess as of late, I've really only played a shitload of Suki and Bastet, which are two of my mains. It's crazy, I'm still so new to the game that one of my mains is only level 3, or Worshipper level 3 on Suki. My Suki goes hard though, I'm 7-1 and one on Suki. Who did I lose to as Suki? Uller. Yeah, my one loss on Suki is against an Uller. I don't think we kill him here. Okay, well, we got his ult down at least. Okay, we're contending with him. He's only up 800 gold now. We're keeping equal in damage. This is going great. Dude, I'm tired of... Because the only thing I ever play against, obviously, are mages. I'm pretty sure... 89 out of 90 of the last games I've played. That's an exaggeration, of course. If I don't specify, people get upset. But um, 99% of the games I play are against mages. I'm sure it goes like that for most people right now. I'm sick, so I'm having a really hard time breathing. But um, I'm so tired of playing against mages that just insta-clear every single buff. Like Hades, Morgan, Hebo late game. Or Hebo mid game, Poseidon. I have no problem playing against Poseidon, though. If I'm on the right god. If I'm playing a god that can't really do anything against Poseidon... That too not deal damage. If I'm on a god that can't outfight Poseidon or outfarm Poseidon, it feels really bad. Okay. I feel like I was lagging for some reason. But, um... I can't breathe. This is rough. I hope it doesn't sound like I'm suffocating. But if it does, it makes sense, because I'm suffocating. Dude, that eagle looks dope. Maybe just because I like big birds, and that is like a j massive bird. What are you doing, buddy? He's got a shell down for literally nothing. Yeah, he stopped- he used his shell to stop my back. Which I guess is a play. See, he's gonna be able to get this before I even get there, yeah. Like, look at that. It's so annoying. The mages just fucking get every buff. I have an insanely funny video coming out tomorrow. It's on Hera. And I know you guys hearing that, you might be like... Oh, that's so cringe. And yeah, <laughs> fuck you for one. Yeah, you're right. And two, it's a funny video idea. And the person messaged me after the game and was spam laughing. It's such a good video. I can't wait to po uh, post it. He's only 800 gold up now. I don't know how he's still 800 gold up. We've been double buffing. But he keeps having ultimates like that. Mages, everybody. Throw three abilities out and hide in her tower. That was fucking hell. Nope, just AFK under tower to level 20. Love mages. Oh, he's still actually backing. We have some pretty good wave clear as Bastet from this point on, though. We're about to get a Heart Seeker. He has no uh, life steal at the moment, so... We don't need a Beat Stick, which means we could go, like, a uh, Crusher. Okay, we're only 500 gold down now. That's a Heart Seeker and a Tier 2. I don't know what I want to get. I might just go... I'm going to go Crusher now. 
Last item, I don't know. If he goes lifesteal, I can go beat stick, and if he goes double defense, I can go titan's bane. But if he doesn't go either and just goes damage, I don't know what I get. Maybe I just get a beat stick because it's really good damage and flat pen anyways. Alright. Very inter interesting Kraken. And you're dead. Perfect. Your middle tower is under attack. Those guys are a lost cause. We'll just clear this wave. We should be able to get tower off that. Or at least a large amount of tower poke. And is blue. Let's go. Okay, perfect. That should be... That should just be tower, actually. I love that Bastet's little bunny on her three actually attacks objectives. I don't know why. It's so funny to me. Okay, muy perfecto. I hope that wasn't a voice crack, because that's embarrassing. We should back. Get our crushers, since we have 2.1k, but... I feel like he's not going to fight me at the moment. I feel like I could still beat him in a fight. Okay, you stopped it. You stepped up the spell on my back, so you die now. Was stopping my back worth it? You, le you lose Phoenix just because you wanted to stop my back. Now we'll just go do Bull Demon. And then we'll back clear wave and then take his Phoenix in the next fight. He... Lost his phoenix. He threw his phoenix to stop my back. I could also go hydras, but I'm not the biggest fan of hydras against uh, mages like Poseidon that are just going to run away most of the time. I mean, it's a lot of damage, but I feel like maybe even B-Stick will just give more damage on my two overall. Go Erenda. I think we just go B-Stick. It's good damage. And that could be an ethereal staff, so it could be worse. Does Beat Stick proc an ethereal staff? Probably. I'd imagine it does. I'm getting hit by everyone this game. On purpose. Get red buff, then we'll pressure out Phoenix. We have 50 seconds to do so. I have such a headache at the moment. He's probably waiting on- nope. Fuck the back from spawn. Is he spam laughing? Do you just spam laugh for that? Buddy. <laughs> Little bro actually spam laugh there. That's fucking nuts. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope you all have an amazing night. Peace.